Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview, we are going to be going over the Hive Mind, an alien barreled SMG. Now, what does this alien barrel actually do to this gun? Well, it seems to turn the projectiles into like the little orb things that have trails behind them as they fly through the air. Um, and they tend to ricochet off objects at least by one. Um, and I don't see much AOE damage when you hit things with them. If it is an AOE projectile, like a lot of the balls are, they basically have to be stacked on top of each other. And as far as I can tell, guys, that is the only thing special about this gun. Um, I think I mentioned it does make it use two ammo per shot, and it can come in all the elements. I've seen quite a few of these things, so I don't think they're a super rare drop either. Now, as for the way it looks, again, I say it all the time, I like the SMG alien effect in this game. They're basically all identical. I love that you can see the stuff flowing through it. it looks absolutely amazing. I love the cryo one because I love it with the blue. Just looks so good. And the moving bits, just all icky and gooey. So much fun. But anyways, guys, for my thoughts and overview on this gun, um, this is one of those guns where you pick it up and you're like, oh, what is this weird looking gun? And then you pull the trigger and you're like, wow, that's a high rate of fire. This thing might actually be pretty damn decent. And then you start shooting mobs and you're like, well, it's not really doing much damage. And you're like, yep, that's exactly the case here, guys. Um, it's just like a single round SMG and they never do that much damage. And I don't know why the hell I just did like a 360 backpedal into that dinosaur's face to kill him. That was very, very, very strange. I will say so myself. Um, just like the last alien gun I did, this thing, it's just so underwhelming. It doesn't do much damage. Because this is only on true roll hunter mode, and I have Mayhem 3 gameplay of this thing, and it really, really struggles. And I was even running on positive modifiers with proper SM, well, not proper, but with gear that buffs the gun itself, not just random um, crap on to try and not have bonuses, because I needed it. It really couldn't get itself through the game. And it's one of those things where it's like every time you kill an enemy, I feel like I'm reloading the damn thing. Um, the slow moving projectiles don't add to that. Um, you miss more because of it. But like you guys can see the ricochets here. They don't seem to do more damage when they ricochet. I don't know really what the point of them ricocheting is other than just to make your misses from the slow moving projectiles have a chance to hit something else on the map. Um, it's really kind of odd because they don't really ricochet if you hit an enemy. So it's like, why would you? What's the point? Get out of here, Skull. Nobody likes you. Exactly. I don't have any cares about those skulls because literally nobody likes them. Hey, this guy spawned over here this time. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're getting frozen. That's what's up. Hold on. Let me reload here because this gun doesn't do any darn damage. Um, It does feel fun. It's fun to use. It's fun to pick up. Can't say it's fun to use. And it is fun to pick up, but that's a weird way to say that. It is fun to play with other than the lack of damage. It feels good. Um, the sound is great, the effect is cool, the reload isn't too bad. It's a little bit on the longer side, but that tends to be the Hyperion guns, just what they do. But, oh, it's just underperforming in all aspects, man. Like, I would be okay with this damage output if this thing had like a hundred rounds in its freaking magazine. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like a warlord in some aspects, but minus the ammo capacity, which makes it just garbage. So I guess there you go, guys. Have I called the gun garbage? I called this thing not great. Like this is on True Ball Hunter mode, guys. You've seen me clear this place many, many times, and you can tell this ain't doing shit. And that's with me standing still on a fadeaway flak build. For those that don't know, that adds a ton of damage to this thing, and it's just not cutting it. By the way, guys, that's the hive mind. That's what it does. That's what it's like to use. That's what it looks like. There's Mayhem 3 gameplay that linked down below in the comments in the description. I'm being so weird this episode, guys, but this is the very last episode I'm filming before I'm heading out until, what, two, two and a half weeks? And then I'll be back. But anyways, guys, if you're looking to get these things, unfortunately, all the alien weapons are just a complete open world drop. You can get them absolutely anywhere. Most of mine I have farmed in the Circles of Slaughters and off the gun gun so good luck guys if you're looking to get one that's really all i can say unfortunately and i really do appreciate you all stopping by the support has been absolutely amazing and i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have there's a playlist appearing above me here shortly that has a whole bunch of videos just like this one and if you like some of those think about liking subscribing commenting hitting the notification button watching all my content front to back because it really helps my analytics and just being an awesome member of the community and i will see you guys in the next video dig figure
No, I'm not the only person that's done that more than once in his life, hoping a Kamehameha comes out. 